Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. It's your boy Rusty. We are back with another reaction today. We are checking out Fallen in Reverse new song called Prequel. Maybe not a funny story, but I literally just reacted to all my life. Did all the stuff you need to do with it. Uploaded it. Finished it all off. Then went to the homepage of YouTube and saw this drop like an hour before that. So I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so instead of waiting a long last time to react to that one, I thought I'd get on top of it, do it right now. The two previous songs have been a little bit of a mix. One we had very hard, very deep, dark, harsh vocals, and the other one was kind of like a classic, you know, hard rock metal, kind of like hybrid, nice fun, upbeat, funky, classic, falling in reverse song. So that's kind of got me questioning what we're going to have in store today. So we're going to get into it. We're not going to waste any more time. As always, guys, if you do enjoy this reaction, like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, all those things. And if you are new to the channel and do enjoy this reaction today, then go check out over on the channel all the other reactions that I've done. I promise you'll enjoy every single one of them, okay? All right, let's get into it. <clears throat> Very desolate. Like sci fi. Dear diary, dear diary, I've been searching for a higher me. I'm in the sky in the pilot seat, trying to stop my mind from spiraling, and that's irony, that's irony. I'm just looking for a resolution. I just want to be a better human, but it's hard when everybody's acting stupid. Pardon me if that came off rude. I just have a bad attitude with the world. I like it. It's kind of like feels like it's building up to something. Damn. The intensity's rising. Ooh. There's something just very futuristic, very um, um, 1984 about it. Like, it just feels so, like, desolate and dark and quiet. It's very edgy in the sense of, like, at any moment now, we could just go off a cliff and everything's just going to kick off. And that's like, yeah, the, the, the intro feels really good. Sounds really good. Like really quiet. What's going on? Cross. Dear diary, dear diary. I just had another wild dream. I was in a world that admired me. And when I woke up, I was smiling. And that's irony. That's irony. You talk a lot, but you don't even know me. I'm just hoping that my testimony will inspire y'all to stop acting phony. Pardon me if that came off weird. I don't mean to be like mean Star I Wars vibe. I've been through a lot this year. little bit. I just want to make a few things clear. I don't like it when people hate behind my back and not to my face. Nowadays, it just feels so fake. So I'll cut the grass. Like Dune or Mad Max. I am loving this crescendo. Oh, just the the, the build-up, the tension. The, the crescendo of it all, and then it just brings you back down to, like, reset, just to build. It's like it's purposely doing this in these two bars, like, these two verses, just, like, to build the tension up even more, and then just, I guess, build up that anticipation for, like, when we really go, when we really go into it. Yeah, we're setting the law right now. A generation with no self-esteem. It's time to rise up and stand against them. Break the chains and finally see the vision. We're post-traumatic from a broken system. Follow me into the chaos engine. Ah, okay, I'm picking up a little bit of politicalness. Don't yeah. be afraid to twist the knife. Your sacrifice to break the curse. Prepare to die. Prepare to burn. Abandon hope. It's not enough. Cause all our gods abandon us. Your sacrifice to break the curse. Light the match. Watch it burn. Ooh. 
Put it. Oh, Christ. Oh, this is beautiful. Um, yo, fuck. Look at that. Look at that scenery. Look at that imagery. That is absolutely stunning. That is absolutely stunning. I will go into deeper points here. Like, it seems like there could be some political points in there. Um, seems like he's making himself a martyr here for everyone else. I'm not too sure. Like, I would need to digest the lyrics a bit more ronnie's not saying that he's a god you know what he's portraying in the video is that he's this martyr this god who's sacrificing himself for maybe a greater cause here but like again i would need to listen to the full lyrics and understand what they're saying what they're meaning before i go deeper into that but yeah this shot is absolutely stunning that is some great cinematography great imagery like christ christ ronnie god damn it Escalating yourself to even greater levels. How do you do it, my lad? Stunning. Ooh, the suit. Ooh, the suit. I'm pretty sure that's what we saw in Ronald, right? The prequel. Makes sense. Christ, there's, there's a few bits there. Like, it seems like maybe it's a prequel to that. Maybe we have to listen to the album for sure. Maybe it's a very conceptual album that does tell a story throughout its entire run. Possibly this is probably going to be number one song you know, the first song on the album, and then everything just goes from there. Obviously, you can see some bits that play into the Ronald song. Obviously, not so much All My Life. That's a very different song and probably just sits out outside of all of that. Maybe, maybe they tie it in well. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? But I just want to go on about some of the imagery here. There was a lot of familiar feelings, um, settings that I could probably pull from film. Felt like there was some, like, references to Dune, like the, the, the desolate desert, how the people dress. Maybe some, a little bit of Star Wars in there as well with, like, kind of like how the Senate looks in some of the classic films and even the worlds there the deserts like in some of the worlds that you visit in Star Wars it kind of gave me that feeling just you know barely any civilization around a lot of inspiration from Greece and Greek mythology in some of those scenes there as well like very much stokes a lot of images there that is just fantastic maybe that was the uh, some valkyries i don't know like like angels of death a lot of stuff to that and this very high production very highly produced high concept classic ronnie stuff like there's no detail that goes spare when he's putting a music video together not lately anyway maybe in the past but like it seems like he's got this sole creative freedom to do what he wants and it's great like i'm glad that he's got it because he's putting some like masterpieces together and the music videos are just absolutely at this moment they're iconic like this one specifically like that was fantastic just to look at i can mute it and still appreciate this video you know obviously the music ties into that but the the video alone is like this would have been very fitting if something like Nightwish released this because it felt like it was more of a orchestral metal track more than anything that I've heard from Ronnie and Fallen in Reverse. Very orchestral sounding and yeah, it really fits what he's trying to do with this prequel and with, I imagine, with the album as well. Like it's going to all tie in, like it's going to bind your emotions to it and you're going to go on a roller coaster and this music video represented that quite well but yeah i'll leave it there guys let me know what you thought about this song did you feel what i feel do you agree with me do you disagree let me know in the comments down below either way if you did enjoy this reaction today make sure you like comment subscribe hit the notification bell share it and if you are new to the channel and did enjoy this then head over to the channel because we got plenty more reactions for you and that's it for now guys thank you for watching thank you for your time today thank you for your company always keep your metal heavy and i'll catch you on the next one Bye, 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 bye.